coming up on this episode of This Week in Japan. Tom Cruise tries to rape me. I visit a Japanese haunted prison hospital restaurant. How to Japanese internet cafe. And more. Yokoso peeps, it's Oz, and welcome to another episode of This Week in Japan. I'm your host, Ozzy Awesome. Set it to two millimeters. So in my last episode, if you haven't already seen it, I did the making of for Keisen Death's music video. If you're wondering why, unlike other episodes of This Week in Japan, I only had that specific section, the reason is YouTube Space. Because I filmed in the Tokyo YouTube Space location, I needed a special approval before I could upload my video. But it was a good experience, it's my first time filming in the YouTube Space, and if you haven't already checked it out, check it out. Next, I want to talk about Patreon. I still have 15 people who are pledging to me, but some of the people actually up the amount that they're pledging so that helps out a lot. Somebody, I don't know who, has been pledging to me on YouTube using the fan funding. Unfortunately, I want to say thank you, but I don't know who is sending it. It's like a mystery because I don't think you can find out the user on fan funding YouTube. If you don't want to remain anonymous, if you could send me a message to my email address up there and just let me know um, that you're the person that's sending it to me. You can tell me how much you're sending so I'll know you're the right person. And that way I can just thank you and, you know, officially know who's supporting me on YouTube. Well, I think that's it for channel news. So let's get back to the episode. Ore, ore, Alright guys, so today I want to talk to you about something really stupid. Um, I want to talk to, about, talk to you about a copyright claim that I got from Paramount. Give me a break man, Victor, um, Mali, um, and a couple of other people, and as well as I, we were all in Nagoya, and we decided to do a parody of the trailer for Jack Reacher. And I'd never seen the movie, and Victor just showed me the trailer, and it looked really like cheesy, so we thought we'd make a funny version of that. So I actually want to show you the video, but before I show it to you, I just want to talk to you a little bit about why I think the copyright claim is BS. There's no footage of the movie, there's no um, like any kind of music or audio or video from the movie at all used in the video itself. We just kind of make up the lines that kind of mimic the, the trailer. There's nothing that would be considered actual footage that I took from Paramount. I just took the idea of doing a parody of the trailer for Jack Reacher. Also, the video only has like 4,000 views and it's from three years ago, so almost none of those views have been recently. So I don't know how they came across this video out of the blue like three years later. The only thing I can see is that the thumbnail I used was the, the Jack Reacher poster thumbnail but I kind of like changed it to like my face I put like instead of Jack Reacher I put Jack Reach around and I put my channel name and I put parody in the title of the video so I'm not sure if the thumbnail is the reason why this um, video got flagged for copyright claim so I decided to dispute it and if you've ever done a YouTube dispute you know the steps you go through so I explained fully that everything in the video was owned by me or was not copyrighted I was able to use um, and I sent it off to be disputed and usually it's about 30 days before the company Paramount can get back to you but they got back to me like the next morning and instead of releasing it like I thought they would once they looked at the video and realized it has nothing to do with the Tom Cruise movie Jack Reacher it's just like a stupid parody of like four old guys in Japan acting like idiots I thought they would release it right away but instead they continue the dispute and they further said if I tried to dispute it again then I could actually either get a strike on my channel or be sued or whatever so I kind of left it at that I want I wanted to fight it but I don't want it to ruin my channel and for me to get like a copyright strike just for that one stupid video that is not making any money for me anyway and if it is the thumbnail but it wasn't in my video it was just the thumbnail and I could easily change the thumbnail which I did um, but still they seem to want to dispute it and they want the money because they're claiming that there's digital imagery in the video. Now in the video there's something that looks like an introduction to like a movie like a Paramount Pictures kind of like a globe spinning kind of thing but it's from iMovie and Victor created it and it's fair use or it's free use it's nothing it's not owned by Paramount so I don't think that's what they have the problem with and the rest of the footage is honestly me in my room or 
like me and Victor and Molly out in, in the street in Nagoya. So I don't understand what part of the digital imagery they're referring to unless it's a thumbnail. I made the video private. They can't get any more money out of it because no one will watch it. I don't get any money out of it and I wasn't getting any money so I don't really care. Just out of principle, I feel like they're kind of unfairly targeting me. Honestly, if they were to look at the video, there's no way they could claim that any part of that video is copyright of Paramount. Anyway, I've hyped up this video so much, you're going to be really disappointed when you see it because it really is one of the stupid, one of the top three stupidest videos on my channel. So without further ado, here is the parody, Jack Reach Around. You think I'm a hero? I'm not a hero. And if you're smart, that scares you. Four against one. Well, actually, the way that I see it is actually two against one. Because after I kick you in the nuts. Oh, you got a wide foot. You got them both. This little girl's gonna run away. Bye, Karamba! Which only leaves those two guys. So there you go, that was the video that Paramount claimed they own copyright to and deserve money for. What do you think? Technically I could still fight for the right for that video, but I feel like I don't want to ruin my channel. But if you guys have any other advice, please let me know in the comment section below. Tabeo. So you're in Japan and you're partying and you're so drunk that you forget that all the trains are done by like 11 or 12 and you're stuck in Tokyo. Don't panic, you have lots of options. You could go to a love hotel, but if you're alone, that's kind of pathetic. You can go to a business hotel. You probably don't need a reservation, but the price will be higher because you didn't reserve. You can go to an all night diner or restaurant or cafe or a McDonald's. That's a good and cheap idea, but it's not very comfortable. You can sleep on the street. That is another cheap idea. However, if it's raining or if it's cold, it might not be very comfortable. And although Japan is pretty safe, you don't want to get raped or mugged. You could technically spend the whole night partying at other clubs or lounges or bars. However, my favorite option is the Japanese internet cafe. Especially in big cities and around big stations, you're gonna find tons of internet cafes. There's a lot of major companies like Mambu, which is like a ripoff of Yahoo, the logo, Popeyes, and some other ones. But this one here, I'm not sure even what it's called, it's orange. This is my favorite internet cafe. First of all, I like it because it's clean and it's a lot more spacious than any other internet cafe I've been to so far. All the other internet cafes I've been to, the, the hallways are really like narrow and the booths are also very tiny and hard to fit in. But the good thing about internet cafes is the privacy and the seating. One option if you want to sleep is the reclining chair, it's really comfortable. If you just want to lie down, one of the best options is the flat seat. It's like a mat and you just lie on the mat and you can just sleep. There's also booths that are massage chair and booths that fit more than one person. So if you're in a group and you guys want to all stick together and listen to the same music or play video games or just pass out together in the same booth, you can do that as well. 
Most internet cafes have all you can drink, drink bars, and even soft serve ice cream. If you're really into Japanese manga or Japanese magazines, then you're really gonna like internet cafes because there's tons and tons. Internet cafes have two different sections, the regular section for non-smoking people, and then there's a separate section that's glassed off and insulated for the people who like smoking. There's different price ranges, so there's like the open seating area, it's not privacy, it's just like a counter, but it's cheaper per hour, and you can pay by per 15 minute, or you can get special like two hour, or three hour, or six hour, or eight hour, or full day packages if you like. Inside the actual booth, you'll find a computer and a television. Some internet cafes even provide video game systems. There's also a safe in the booth, so if you do put your valuables in there and you happen to fall asleep, no one can steal your shit. So there's headphones that you can use, and there's an area to charge your phone, and there's also a menu where you can order a lot of interesting and delicious foods. In this specific internet cafe, I really love the Tantam and Ramen. There's a photocopy machine, vending machines, they sell snacks, they also sell a lot of toiletries and hygiene products um, for businessmen or for people who need to go to work the next day. Also a popular thing in Japan is to get point cards and if you come to the same internet cafe often and accumulate points, you can even get free stays for future visits. All in all, Japanese internet cafes are not that expensive and they're very convenient. So if you're ever in need of a PC and you need an internet connection or you just want to crash somewhere that's comfortable, I recommend internet cafes. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh my God. <laughs> So right now I'm outside the restaurant, I'm just waiting for them to show up. There they are. Hello. How you doing man? Good, how's it going? Good. It's been a year. I yeah. know. Are you guys, did you get caught in the rain today? Oh uh, yeah. They've called us. Weird. Freak the hell out of these people. Good cages. Oh, there's nice light in here. Hey, how's it going? Good time. So far, so good. 
Yeah. Ooh, another monster. <laughs> And this is your second year in a row that you're in Japan, right? Yeah. Cool. So, last time you were here for like what? Two yeah. weeks? Three weeks? Uh, about three and a half weeks. Okay. And then now this time, how long are you here for? Five weeks. Cool. And what are you going to do this time around? Um, we're going to go to the same places with okay. Sapporo again. Yeah. We're going to go to Yeah. Oh, Hiroshima. Nice. Where? Yeah. Kyoto, of course. Staff over, you bang on this little metal rod thing and they'll come and take your order. Good. What, what, what are you gonna drink? You're gonna be drinking sperm juice, right? Oh, sperm juice. Oh, yeah, and you got the color rainbow, rainbow stuff. Rainbow. Okay, and some food also. We're eating some blue curry and yeah. Yeah. weird stuff. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Hello. Whoa. Rainbow. 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 This is uh, Lizzie's drink, the rainbow. Yeah? yeah. Is it good? Is it uh, is it strong? The alcohol? Uh, not too strong. Not too strong. Like it's warm. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this okay. is the sperm juice. <laughs> you try it to suck. Suck it now. Yo, suck it now. Try. Try sucking it now. You say. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> too hot for YouTube. How's the drink itself besides the sperm juice? It's actually delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a good boy, I'm taking my meds. Yum. That's my blood transfusion. Regular food, tomato pizza. Nachos. And nachos, also regular food. Great. Whoa. Brain? I get brain. Oh my god. Uh, hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this fresh? Good, right? So good, right? You're right. It's the best brain ever. Yeah, it is the best brain ever. <laughs> yeah, it's just a like red egg. Yeah, it's good, right? There you go. It's actually really good. I mean, if I close my eyes and I ate this, I wouldn't even know it's blue. Boobies! 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 Or fried rice with umeboshi on top. So like every half an hour or whatever, this weird light goes and this weird like Mexican music. And then the guy talks a lot and we haven't figured out what it's about but... I finished everything. I finished the liver, the brains, the boobs. We finished the curry, we finished the pizza and the Mexican tacos. All that's left is this really limp, soggy, flaccid banana. <laughs> How did it feel to slap a Japanese man? <laughs> it feels like that's like my dreams all come to the <laughs> We are permanently branded in this jail cell. It was good times. Did you have fun? Did you have, yeah. did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever come back here again? 
I think I would. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Woo! Woo! We're finally out. It was good, it was fun. You had a good time, right? I'm a yeah. fun. Yeah. Today there weren't any sexy nurses, so I was kind of disappointed. Um, but there was doctors and orderly, so that was cool. See ya! Yeah, bye. bye! Well, there you go. That was another episode of This Week in Japan. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share. Leave any comments down below and let me know if there's any ideas you have for future episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos because my videos are awesome. Aussie awesome. Take care and see you next time.